Greetings, human beings. This is, this is Meditate Yourself, Paul Smith. Have at it. Welcome. Hello. So the two things that I want to emphasize with you this morning is that breathing changes the way that we feel, and the way that we feel changes the way that we breathe. They're inseparably connected, and it's all it's all a reflection of our autonomic nervous system. If we're in danger, <laughs> oh my God, you know, we're off fight or flight. Your breathing is going to change. You don't have much control over that. But you do have control if you want to change yourself on that fight or flight into a more calm, relaxed state of being. So we're going to, we're going to do some modalities that will actually put us, give us a taste of each of those as they prepare us for crossing the threshold into meditation. So that's number one that I want to emphasize, so we can all become a little more conscious of the way that we breathe. And number two is that we are, we exist in an energetic, frequency-based, attraction-based universe. Everything is energy. And we're constantly emitting a signal, just like, is that this here? Have you got, anyone got a Prius or an electric car? If you don't have this with you, you're not getting in the car, it's not starting. You have it just in your pocket, you can open the door. It's sending out a frequency continually, as are we. And our signal comes from this complicated thing between our ears. The thoughts that we keep, the feelings that we have are continually putting out a signal to an energetic field that exists around us and that we uh, coexist with everything else. Everything has an energy field and we're, we're, we're dipping and diving into it all the time. So those are the two things that I want to emphasize and we're going to talk just a little about how we can have some influence. Certainly over our breathing, not so hard. Our signal, a little harder because we uh, just have very, very busy minds. I do, I'm no uh, I'm not a robot. In fact, it's probably a little harder for me today than when I was in my teens because I've just gained so much more information. I'm like a sponge. I'm very cute. I was a terrible student at school, but I've uh, shown the door at a very young age. But I'm very, very curious now. I, I, I'm a sponge for knowledge. So my brain is full of, you always got two or three thoughts going on at the same time. So finding my way through that is the challenge uh, to get to the point of crossing the first order to meditation. So let's start with number one, breathing. We've got, uh, okay, I'm going to have to move right on. We've got until 9.15, 9.15, that's just over half an hour. We'll give us, I usually do a 20 minute meditation. The first eight to nine, 10 minutes of that is go through the process that I'm going to show you. And the second 10 minutes is just being there. And the hardest part of the whole thing is pulling yourself back, because when you get there, it's just so good. It just feels so amazing. And, and, and it's ma multiplied and magnified when we're doing it all together, because we're all crossing over each other's energy field, making one big energy ball, which is just a wonderful experience. So breathing, let's talk a little bit about what's going on when we breathe. Uh, Okay, rewind. Uh, in my teens, I studied pranayama. Really, really complicated. If you can get through the pranayama test, well done. I, I didn't. Over the years, I've, I've just come to realize it's very, very simple. All we're doing when we breathe is, is a manipulation of carbon dioxide and oxygen. That's all that's going on. The uh, carbon dioxide levels dip we tend to relax. The oxygen levels uh, uh, raise and we tend to get hyped up. And it's not about breathing out the nasty, uh, dark CO2 and breathing in the beautiful, clean oxygen. No, carbon dioxide is absolutely essential. In fact, if you don't have carbon dioxide in your system, you can't even absorb the oxygen. Totally right up there with, with oxygen. So yeah, too much carbon dioxide would cause death but so too much oxygen, too much concentrated oxygen, and we're on our way. And the other little known truth is that most of the air that we breathe is neither oxygen nor, nitrogen, nor a carbon dioxide, it's nitrogen. 
80% of the air we breathe is nitrogen, which is why it's so important to breathe through our nose, because through our nostrils and the other side that you can't see is the nasal cavity, which converts the nitrogen into nitrates, which does all its amazing stuff, trillions of things every second from the air that we breathe. When we take a breath in through our nose, our lungs are not doing anything. They are involuntary sacs. It's our diaphragm that pulls down, draws the air in. Our heart actually expands a little, beats a little faster. When we breathe out, the heart shrinks a little, breathes a little slower, beats a little slower. There's a whole bunch of things, trillions of things that go on with just a single inhalation. And I can't even hope to influence that. Oh, by pushing your stomach out a little bit, that's one, one method. So you're emphasizing your diaphragm being pushed out. You can't hope to influence all the things that go on with one breath of air, but I can influence the way that I feel. And so can you, right? So I've developed three modalities of, of breathing. I call them fire, wind, and earth. Fire breath is rapid inhalations, uh, which is actually hyping the self up a little bit, oxygenating our brain, dumping carbon dioxide, giving us a heightened state of awareness because the purpose of that in my preparation for meditation is to really activate our brain. And then we're going to go through two other modalities which will slow us down, put our body in kind of a relaxed sleep mode but our brain is really turned up. Uh, the way we do the fire breath is, is literally let us do 10, 15. You can just focus on that if you want to. Do 50, 60, 100, you probably pass that. But that, that will cause a, uh, a DMT-like experience, a psychedelic experience. Some people love to do that. I, uh, I, I don't, because that's not my purpose of breathing. But you can absolutely activate that part of your I could talk on one just about this. I'm having to cut it cut and chop here as I go along. And after, let's say we're going to do 12 inhalations and exhalations. After the last exhalation, we're just going to stop, suspend breath. And you'll be able to do it for maybe a minute quite easily. And the reason why is because you've dumped carbon dioxide. The urge to breathe is actually not that we need more oxygen. What it is, is because carbon dioxide is built up. It's constantly carbon dioxide, oxygen. So breath hunger is because carbon dioxide is built up. Breathe in the oxygen, oh, that levels it out a bit. But as you dump the carbon dioxide by breathing fast, rapidly, for 10, 12, 15, your carbon dioxide levels are good, and you can just suspend breath easily. Just, just go for 30. So you'll be able to do it for 60, maybe 100 when you get free divers do this exercise and they can last for five, six, seven minutes underwater when you, if you want to turn it into an Olympic event like that. It's all really, really fascinating. So we'll do that. Next is wind breath. It's, it's simply creating equilibrium, bringing us into a center state, which is equal breath in through nose, out through mouth. In through nose, out through mouth. There are other modalities like box breathing you've probably heard of. Uh, I've spent my life trying to get out of a box, so I don't want to put myself in one with my breathing. So I just keep it nice and fluid. In for four seconds. It has to change the way that you feel because your breathing is inseparably connected to our autonomic nervous system. So hyping yourself up will do that. Bring yourself down by changing your breath will absolutely calm down. Then we go to a deeper level by one inhalation in through our nose, exhale for 15. By just restricting your esophagus a little, let the air seep out slowly, go to a deeper level of grounding. That's it. Then we're going to relaxing. That's key. That was key one, the breathing key two, relaxing. We're going to just isolate three seconds of our body and just drop it. Relax our entire body. Uh, key three is opening our energy centers. I can talk about that with you because you're into chocolate. I know you're in it. There are energy centers, everything. 
I focus on eight. Most of us are seven. Eight is up here outside our energy field. As we can open up these energy centers, and they're actually a physical thing. The, the pineal gland is a physical thing. I've seen inside the brain. The pineal gland is a little like cone shaped thing. But inside the pineal gland is crystals, calcium crystals. And if you bring that energy up your spine, up through your heart, your throat, ding that pineal gland, you'll create an experience as the crystals inside, the calcium crystals crystallize and they form a magnetic polarity thing. There are, there are receptors on the outside which go out into your brain and into your field. Your pineal gland talks to your pituitary gland, releases chemicals. We've got a whole darn pharmacy up there in our brain. Releasing them, just go, oh, 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 oh. amazing. But what I'm really doing this for is to get, calm myself down, open up and get more into my energy field. Heart, number four, six, pineal, eight. I'm there, around that field. That's what we're gonna do, that's what we're gonna get. Get to that point, being more in that field, just getting out of the way and experience a beautiful opening. Stepping into the divine, however you perceive that. It's a little different for all of us. There's no one way, there's no one truth. There's only your experience. So why don't we go there? Is there a time running? Because I'm always getting lost in this. 8.50, that's a good time to do this. That gives us 20 minutes. I split it up into, I give myself 10 minutes to get into it. So I'm going to talk you through the breathing. Get yourself comfy. You look like you can all do the lotusy stuff. Or, you know, if that's comfy for you, do it. You're putting your, your legs around your neck, is comfy, do that too. I can't do any of that, so I am sitting right here. And you don't need to do any of that. That's the, you just need to be comfortable. Lying down, probably not, because we associate lying down with, with uh, going to sleep. But if you're okay, lie down. Just do it your way. So I'll talk you through the breathing. Rapid inhalations for five breath. The calm, equal inhalations for a, a wind breath. Deeper, slower, longer inhalation, exhalation for earth breath. I'll give you a moment to close your eyes, get centered. Get a feel for where you are, bring your energies in. Who are you? What are you all about? Where are you at in your life? Let's get out of the past, but let's get present. Let's feel the present moment now. We're going to do 12 rapid inhalations. Breathe it all the way up. Fill those lungs up and then just blast it out. Here we go. One. Two. bottom of that exhalation, don't have to blow it all out, just a natural bottom and hold it there. Feel the moment. We're going to suspend breath on the count of 30, drop to one. Blow out what little's in your lungs and take a deep inhalation through nose and hold it for 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 